good evening everyone so we change your plan Danny was going to be home on time but he works as a gas engineer um, for the emergency services so sometimes he gets stuck on a job which means he has to stay until he can hand over to a team for a gas escape so he's phoned to say you'll not be home on time so Dylan started my dinner there but he's got to go away and do some work so I've got to sort it myself I've been a wee bit short of breath now I took a wee top up in my oral morphine lorazepam and see if that helps a wee bit but sometimes by the end of the day I just get short of breath but We'll not know until the next few days if the decrease in my MST tablet that I decreased last night has had an effect or not. So first I've got to hook up to my two machines. So sitting, I just have one compressor working. I need to switch this other one on. And I need to turn this one up to seven. And then it's going to be hard to film this, but I've got a double connector here which hooks like a V hooks up one machine to the other so I'll just sort of <laughs> put that in there the now well I hook that up there we go and then always do double checks to make sure that that's at the right amount of oxygen for me. I'll just sit here a wee minute till it comes up. Then grab my big lead and navigate through the house. <laughs> here I go. Aye. Just pulling the lead along. And I hook it on the door frame here. So it stays there on the door frame. I'll get the rest of it through just make sure there's no kinks and it doesn't trap under everything be hard to do when I'm trying to film here right we'll come to the kitchen so Dylan's cooked me some rice here we have a um, the hob that we have is an induction hob and we had to get that installed wait a minute I'm going to sit down here. Oh, but sometimes standing just crackers me. Oh. Yeah. I'm just going to check there's no kinks in this lead here. Stopping the oxygen coming through. There we go. That's a bit there. There's a wee kink there. Stopping the flow. Oh. Oh. Get my breath back. So yeah, we've got an induction hob. Um, I had to get one of these installed because we had a gas hob and with oxygen you're not allowed to be near anything flammable um, within three metres so of course I couldn't cook I love cooking so this induction hob's really good it caused a lot of swearing in that to begin with because it keeps switching off and things until you get used to it because it's got that many safety things in it you know if you don't have it on or if you press over the wrong bit of it it goes off Checking this rice is nice and made. It's all nice and fluffy in the pan. All the water's absorbed. So I'm just going to have that. Dylan's made that for me. And I'll keep some for Danny. Some of these obstacles that get me a breath is even got my fork and my plate out for me because just bending, bending takes a lot out of me. And even reaching up here to the microwave putting things in and out so what I'm having I'm having some of the leftover curry 
for the weekend. I think it needs to heat up again, so put that on for another couple of minutes there. So I'm having that. So the plan with Danny was we were going to make some tofu, but just not up to doing any kind of cooking for scratch the night. So a quick, easy dinner with some rice and some leftover curry for me. And I'll manage that. And when Danny comes in, he can cook his tofu. Um, when he comes in, he's basically, he strips off at the front door. Um, I'll take you to the front door and show you while that's cooking, actually. Here we go. Tomorrow we've got the oxygen delivery coming. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you all about the oxygen tomorrow. So here's the front door where people come in. We've got the glass door there that partitions it. So when people come in, they're in this little square here. Um, so we keep all the big oxygen stuff. But Danny's got his uh, got extra PPE and things up here. And he's got his little bag. Because it's just his first day back to work with his day off. He's got an empty bag here, but it's... I made this for him out of a, an old um, pillowcase and this is where he puts his work clothes so he gets stripped off here, puts his work clothes in the wee ba the bag, straight to the machine and then he just goes straight in the bathroom, takes a wipe and wipes all the handles and that on his way, although he'll have cleaned his hands in the, in the van just not to bring any infection into the house. And this was something we were doing well before COVID, just for infection control procedures anyway. Um, so I tend, he'll shout hello, but it takes him a good 15, 20 minutes before I even see him when he comes in, because he goes straight in the shower. Um, and that's so it'll be a late one the night. I hate when he's on this shift. Um, and especially when he gets stuck at a job because we'd not get a lot of time together the night. And um, again, dinner time can be funny. Um, it's not always good sitting, eating on your own, and, and that. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I like it better when he's on the other shift and he finishes it quarter past four um, but go to work I suppose and very lucky that he's went part time anyway so that's my evening I'm actually looking forward to eight o'clock tonight because I'm booked into my friends Joanne Lee who runs the Full Spectrum Centre I want to sit down again oh god I'm not good oh, standing up um, she is doing a journey through the chakras sound bath meditation which I booked way back a couple of weeks ago when it launched so that's at 8 o'clock tonight so I can't wait for that I really can't and I don't want to be interrupted so I'll probably have to cancel my carers tonight and because um, they come in about that time and I don't even want to be interrupted du during it so I'll probably phone up and cancel my carers and I'll uh, get Danny, oh god there I've got to ask Danny to help me again because we cancelled the carers last night as well because I wanted a bath and they came in early and Danny sent them away to say no and I said that was silly, should I got them to help you do the nasal rinse and things like that but he didn't he did it all again. He's such a, a good man, so he is. Anyway, that's me checking in. So it's been a good wee day. It has been. I, I ended up doing a lot more extra work on my work, and I wasn't procrastinating. I was getting contacted by um, my business coach and somebody else that I'm collabing with, writing a course as well. I'll not tell you about that. Um, and I was speaking to Joanne as well about looking forward to tonight's meditation um, so I've had a good wee day um, so I'll check in with you all tomorrow I'm going to teach you all about oxygen I think tomorrow since we've got the 
Dolby Vivisol oxygen delivery guy coming and I'll take you through all the oxygen that I use and top tips so those that are maybe starting to use oxygen or um, those that um, are using it oh, I've got loads of tips on that so that'll be tomorrow um, have a good night everybody bye